Well, hello again, and thank you for making it all the way to the very end of my introduction to tricking series. I hope you've learned something. If you've applied the steps that I've taught you, you've definitely come quite a ways. And uh, so I just wanted to give you some parting words that I'll send you down the road uh, on your tricking journey. I think it's really important to take responsibility for your own actions and recognize that you're the one who makes your life the way you want it to be. No one's going to hold your hand and walk you through, you know, step by step how to do everything. Um, the reason for this is because everyone's different, everyone's unique, right? Like if I were to tell you, you know, the reason why I'm successful is because I train a lot. What does that even mean? Because you on the other side, you might be thinking, oh, all right, well, I should probably train more. But what if you already train seven days a week, three hours a day? You're going to think, oh, well, I should probably bump it up to six, six hours a day. Um, likewise, if you're someone who doesn't train at all, you know, once a week, 30 minutes, you might be like, oh, yeah, I should probably do it twice a week, 30 minutes. That'll be, that'll work. Everyone has their own unique set of obstacles, goals, accomplishments, problems. The, everyone lives their own unique life you know you best, so make yourself the best person you can be. Alright, so there's a lot of uh, good tricking tutorials and samplers online. Um, you should watch every sampler like a tutorial. It's really good, you know, just slow-mo that, you know, clip that you like and learn that way. Um, there's, not to mention there's loads of great tutorials on YouTube. Um, I absolutely love watching tutorials, but don't become dependent on them. Um, they're not going to teach you how to trick. You got to learn on your own. You got to get out there and do the trick. You got to your body needs to perform the movements if you want to get good at tricking, right? In my tutorials in particular, if you notice I have like a formula for them. Um, it goes trick, breakdown, progression, troubleshoot, angles, right? And the way I want people to watch my tutorials is, oh, okay, that's a trick. And then you just stop the tutorial and go out and try it. If it doesn't work, come back, look at the breakdown, look at how each step by step. Oh, okay, now I'll try it. And then you go back again and try it. If that doesn't work, come back again. Oh, okay, so let's look at the progression. Let's see what some things I can do to make it easier for me. <clears throat> and then go out and try it again. If that doesn't work, come back to troubleshooting, see what you're doing wrong. And then if that doesn't work, check out different angles, check out other samplers, other tutorials, um, learn from others. But the idea is to not be relying on tutorials too much. You just want to get the idea in your head and then go practice. That's a, that's, I think that's, a real, that's, a, that's an important key to learning how to trick well. I'm an advocate of growing the tricking community because I feel like it has a lot of potential and I feel like if I knew about it back when I uh, was doing Taekwondo as a kid, I probably would have practiced only tricking. Um, it's loads of fun and I think a lot more people should know about it. That's another reason why I kind of make these tutorials. So tell your friends, you know, spread the word, uh, build the community in your area and have fun with it. And lastly, I wish you good luck on your tricking journey. I hope this uh, introduction to tricking series uh, tutorials have helped. I hope you've learned something, um, and I hope to trick with you one day. Thanks, guys. Take care.